Hello, everyone. Starting a crew press conference. Welcome. Um, I'm going to start reading a question from uh, the submission form from SNET of Sports Kida Esports. In the 17th round of bind, your team decided to contact all the way to the A site and were able to close out the round. What led your team to go with such a bold move with a low buy of all things? Eh, la pregunta es, en la ronda 17 de Bind, eh, el equipo decidió ir con contacto full hacia el lado de A y eh, estuvieron bien para cerrar la ronda. ¿Cómo, cómo hicieron para eh, que esta reacción, con, con este movimiento tan exagerado, con una low buy, poder comprar? Eh, but en Enery is from... Oh, ok, ok. Oh, ok, sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, uh, we're going to have now a question from Pedro from Homero from Blix. Pedro Romero from Blix, you can make your question. Hello, hello. Hello, can you can you hear me? Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Uh, well, first off, commiserations on the results today. Tough way to go down. Um, I got a question for 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 Carlita. I'm just wondering, like, given how the team performed against SMG and 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 how the series played out, what did you think went wrong for the team in this series in a general sense? Okay, la pregunta va para Carlita. Eh... Fue una forma difícil de caer esta partida contra SMG, eh, dado, visto y considerando la performance que tuvo el equipo contra SMG. ¿Qué, qué es lo que piensas que salió mal eh, y tus pensamientos en general? Eh, un segundo que estoy pensando. Yo creo que en Bind logramos hacer nuestro juego. Eh, de cierta forma pudimos entrar mucho más conectadas, que capaz eso es lo que faltó en el primer mapa. Y eso básicamente, que no pudimos desde el comienzo imponer nuestro juego. Thank you. Ok, uh, to translate, the she was thinking and then uh, I, I think that by, in Bind we were able to play our game and in that way we could go to, to that map more connected uh, and that's what was lacking in the first map. Uh, we couldn't do that from the start uh, to impose our, our gameplay so that was it. Okay, now Nicolas Rocha from Periodista Gamer. Gracias. Hola chicas, hola Rodri, eh, bueno perder es muy duro, pero eh, los únicos que pierden son los que compiten a lo grande como ustedes. Eh, esta pregunta es para Romy eh, y para Carlita, quiero saber ustedes eh, qué se llevan de este equipo, de esta experiencia mundialista y, y pues de esta competencia, como lo dije, eh, a lo grande en todos los sentidos. Eh, bueno, la verdad no quiero hablar mucho porque <ríe> estoy triste. Pero me llevo una linda experiencia, aprendizaje y haber conocido a Chay. <ríe> eh, para mí el equipo que se formó fue muy bueno. Me gustó compartir todo el año. Eh, fue muy lindo compartir con estas personas. Pudimos establecer buenas relaciones y eso es lo que me importa y lo que me llevo, porque disfruté cada momento y la experiencia, obviamente. Muchas gracias, mucho ánimo. Mm -hmm. Okay, the increíble. question um, was tough lost, uh, but all the, the, the people the people that lose are the people that compete and you did you guys you girls did uh the big way. So question for Romy and Kalita. You girls um 
you, you girls are in the team uh, for for the longest. Um, and how what do you think about this um, world's experience and to compete this way that you you girls did? And Romy said, okay, I I don't want to talk that much because I'm sad. Uh, but I bring with me uh, a really good experience, uh, learnings, and to have met Chais. And Kalita said, for me, the team that was formed, it was really good. Uh, I like to share all, all the, I, I like sharing this year with them. Uh, it was really nice. And we were able to establish really good relationships and the experience uh, uh, in this tournament as well. Pedro Romero from Blix, one more question. Yeah, this question goes out to, to anyone that, that can answer, including the coach. Um, we've seen this team perform better compared to last year, finishing the seventh, eighth in 2022, now finishing fifth and sixth. Um, what does this team's performance say about the level of Latin American Valorant compared to the rest of the world and how much has it grown compared to, to last year? La pregunta traducida para español es, eh, va para cualquiera el que quiera responder, incluido el coach. Eh, vimos que la performance de este año fue mejor que la que tuvieron el año pasado, ya con un quinto a sexto lugar. Eh, ¿Qué pueden decir de esta, de esta performance que tuvieron en, en, en la competencia a comparación de la del año pasado? Uh, I think that the difference between this year and the last year is that we changed we changed some players and we added Bebe that she isn't here but she is the strategic coach so that helped me a lot to build like a better strategic part of the game and besides that um, Mika and Shais are really good players they have really good energy and they are really 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 talented and i think that the one of the most important things is that we kept the core of Romy, Connie and Kalita that they already had some uh, experience playing in big stages so that is thank you now one question from Julia Catarina from Pichau Arena Oi, a minha pergunta vai para a Bom, em Lotus vocês acabaram enfrentando uma derrota expressiva, o que acabou impactando diretamente nesse resultado final. E o que você acredita que acabou causando essa bola de neve, tanto no coletivo quanto no seu individual? Hum, eu diria que a gente entrou um pouco desconectada na Lotus e as meninas muito agressivas. Então... Mudamos, né, para a eu comecei a gritar, feito louca para ir para levantar o astral, mas não deu certo. E não sei, não sei, tipo, fizemos o nosso melhor, eu estou orgulhosa de todos daqui. Esse foi um ano muito incrível para mim, em especial, fiz belas amizades e eu espero levar para a vida inteira. E não sei, eu estou orgulhosa, apesar de tudo da gente, obviamente estou triste por ter perdido. Mas, não sei, eu acho que pelo fato da gente ter entrado desconectado no primeiro mapa, é, perdemos a série, mas não sei, eu estou orgulhosa das meninas, é isso. Obrigada. Uh, now we're going to have questions from press here in the room. Um, first is Pietro from Valorant Zone. É, boa tarde, uma pergunta para a Chais, é, é duas em uma, basicamente. É qual a principal lembrança que você vai levar desse Mundial em casa? E quais os aprendizados que você leva, tanto individual como coletivo, para o futuro, para 2024, por favor? Hum. Obviamente, eu vou levar para sempre as meninas. Então, tipo, acho que a nossa conexão, a nossa amizade, nosso ano foi incrível. Então, é o que eu vou levar para adiante. E individualmente... Eu aprendi muito com a Bebe, com o Frix, com as meninas. Então, eu vou levar toda essa experiência que elas me passaram, 
experiência do Pix como coach e da BP também. Então, acho que eu vou estar mais matura para o ano que vem. Obviamente, participei do meu primeiro mundial. <risos> e aprendi muito. Aprendi muito com as meninas, aprendi muito com eles. E levo todo esse aprendizado comigo para o ano que vem. Silvio Cigueiras, da Ime Arena. Minha pergunta vai para a Chais. Na verdade, são duas. É, eu gostaria que você fizesse um balanço da Crua nesse Mundial, desde o primeiro game de vocês, e saber se você, como brasileira, você se sente bem representada pela Liquid. Eu, com certeza, a gente saindo ali, inclusive, eu já olhei para a Dai e falei, a massa. <risos> Porque eu estou torcendo para as meninas agora, que a gente saiu também, e elas... Fazem parte da minha história também, querendo ou não, a Isa tá ali e ela é meu amor, então eu torço muito para as meninas, eu não sei, eu estou sendo representada por, um, por uma parte, gostaria de ter continuado representando a Argentina, o Chile, a parte da Latam, e, mas o Brasil tá ali, eu ainda acredito nas meninas e acredito que a América do Sul vai ganhar, então eu acredito muito no Brasil. Thank you. Now we have a question from uh, Facundo from F the News. Before this championship, crew played in Colombia. How did you feel as a whole team, knowing the fact that Brazil and Latin are geographical regions closed? Is like is like you are playing like a foreign foreign team. Eh, antes del mundial, crew jugó en Colombia. Eh, ¿Cómo se sienten eh, como equipo en general sabiendo que eh, Brasil y la TAM están geográficamente unidas, digamos, eh, pero se sintieron, por así decirlo, que estuvieron eh, siendo, siendo extranjeras en este Mundial? Eh, no, yo creo que Brasil y Latam es más unido de lo que parece, la verdad que nosotros dependemos de ellos mucho, de trainos y así fue en la historia competitiva de los FPS principalmente eh, la verdad que no, no nos sentimos como extranjeros nos trataron bien desde el primer momento eh, y de hecho la gente de acá es súper cálida con nosotros, realmente no somos extranjeros porque tenemos dos integrantes brasileños en el equipo Okay, uh, he answered no. I don't think that uh, that we were foreign. Uh, I think the Brazil and Latam are more closer than people might think. Uh, and Latam depends a lot uh, 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 with this relationship between each other. Uh, and this not only comes in Valorant, it comes with all FPS games. Uh, so no, we are not foreigners here. Uh, we also have two Brazilians in a team and the people in Brazil um, helped us a lot and um, always gave us their warm welcome. Okay, now we have two last questions from press in the Zoom. Nicolas Rocha from Periodista Gamer. Hola, chicas, otra vez. Eh, esta pregunta es para, para Mika. Yo, yo sé que por ahí no te gusta tanto el tipo de preguntas, pero la gente eh, todavía no termina de creer que relativamente esta experiencia es nueva para ti tanto la de Bogotá como la de, la de aquí en Brasil. Eh, cuéntanos cómo has aprendido tanto en tan poco tiempo y cómo has logrado eh, apoyarte en tus compañeras para tener este crecimiento tan rápido y tan bueno en estas competencias. No sé. <risa> eh... Eh, bueno, no sé, con la ayuda de Rodri y Bebe aprendí muchísimo porque literal era nueva y no sabía mucho y entonces este año aprendí mucho con ella y con las chicas también. Eh, y... ¿Cómo seguir la pregunta? ¿Cómo, cómo aprendió tanto en ¿Cómo aprendió tanto en tan poco tiempo? ¿Cómo te apoyaste de tus compañeras para tener este crecimiento? Eh, ¿Y tu experiencia, digamos, en, en Bogotá, en Brasil, en, en todo esto? Ah, la experiencia en Bogotá fue muy linda. También fue mi primera LAN y aprendí mucho de eso. Y 
no, como para ver con las chicas, eh, no sé, hablando, comunicando y también con Tony, el psicólogo que nos ayudó en una banda. Y no, eso. Uh, so the question was for Mika. Uh, I, I I know that you don't like these types of questions, but the people want to know, and they don't they don't believe that you don't have the experience, and you're like new. Uh, so you had your first experience in Bogota and in Brazil, and tell us how did you learn this uh, so quickly, and how did you get the support from your uh, teammates uh, to get this uh, growth? And she answered, I don't know. Uh, mostly with the help of Rodri and Bebe, uh, coaches, uh, I learned a lot because I was new. I didn't know much. So this year I learned a lot with the with the girls in the team and with the coaches. And yes, Bogota was really nice. It was my first land, so I learned a lot in there. And with uh, the support of the of the girls, uh, it's always talking, hearing, uh, being together, and also the psychologist Tom helped me get through uh, all this. Okay, now last question from Pedro Romero from Blix. With the with all of the things that happened. For you guys as a team, winning LATAM, dominating LATAM, competing in other uh, offline tournaments, including this one, um, what is one thing that you're going to re remember the most uh, with uh, in this team? And I say this for everyone to answer. What's going to be the, the one thing that you'll remember the most uh, out of playing together for this year? Oh, oh, oh. La, la pregunta va dirigida realmente para, para todos y todas las que, las que puedan contestar. Eh, las, lo que pasó este año con este team, ganaron la TAM, eh, dominaron la TAM, pudieron competir en el Mundial y compitieron también en otros torneos. Eh, Quiere saber qué es, qué es la memoria que se llevan de este equipo. Y si lo pueden contestar, eh, sería lo ideal que, que lo puedan contestar todas, como una memoria específica de qué se llevan de, de este equipo. Bueno, yo personalmente me llevo... Lo primero que se me pasó por la cabeza cuando me preguntaron eso fue el viaje a Chile, cuando andamos en monopatín, cuando compartimos. Fue un viaje hermoso. Y, y así como tengo ese recuerdo, tengo millones, porque fue un buen año en equipo. Y lo, lo supe disfrutar. Sí, yo puse decir una palabra, sería como la unión. También porque creo que somos y fuimos muy unidas y entonces tengo muchas buenas memorias de las chicas conmigo, con coach y con la analista, la bebé. Y estoy contenta con las chicas y esto que voy a llevar como la memoria para mí. Ok. I can translate. Um, so only Kalita and Shai's answer. Kalita said, me personally, I take one trip that we did uh, to Chile when we went roller, uh, roller, roller skating and it was a beautiful trip. I have millions, millions of memories, uh, good memories with the girls and I knew how to enjoy it uh, every second this year. And Shai said, if I can define it in one word, will be union, uh, because we were really united all this year. And I had really good memories as well with the girls and also with the coach and the analyst Bebe. So I'm happy. Um, I will take all this and keep it in my memory. Okay, thank you. So that is it for Crew Press Conference. Thank you, girls. Thank you.